friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Monday, it's Monday, so it's meal prep day. I am filming this on Sunday, of course. I just came back from a massive hike. I hiked to the top of a mountain in Tucson. It was incredible. The view, the view was worth it. High up, really hard hike. It was definitely, definitely worth it. Came home, getting my meals ready for the week for success. So if you're excited and you can't wait to see this week's meal prep, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell is turned on because I upload a meal prep every Monday in five videos per week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly recommend. This is how I I have lost the majority of my 136 pounds and I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. If you would like to chat with me directly, links, discounts to my favorite things, my recipe website, and my Facebook group, come join us over there, are all down in that description box. So let me turn you around and let's start cooking this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm making cranberry orange bread, but like I mentioned in my grocery haul, we're subbing cranberries for mixed berries because not a store in town is carrying cranberries right now. So I actually have some frozen mixed berries that we're subbing in place of the cranberries, but it's still going to be such a great addition to a healthy breakfast. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need some orange juice. I am subbing the flour in the recipe with the Kodiak Power Flour. There's 10 grams of protein per quarter cup of this flour. So it's a great substitution for regular flour to really up your protein. I buy this at Walmart. I find it in the aisle with the other flowers. I also know that you can buy it online on the Kodiak website. So you could buy it there if your Walmart doesn't have it, but I love it. It tastes just like regular flour. You cannot tell the difference, but you get all the protein. I'm using unsweetened applesauce in place of the oil slash butter in the recipe. Salt, vanilla extract. For sweetener, I have my Lakanto granulated, which is my all-time favorite sweetener alternative. I'll link Lakanto down below with 15% off site wide. I have baking powder, baking soda, in orange, I'm still going to put the orange in here. I think it'll pair really nicely with the, with the mixed fruit. One egg, and then I have the triple berry blend for, um, from Costco, the organic triple berry blend that we're subbing for the cranberry. So to get started on our bread, we're going to start with our dry ingredients. So I have two cups of the Kodiak Power Flour, three quarters of a cup of Lakanto granulated, Salt. I will link my gravity fed salt and pepper grinders down below. I just bought these on Amazon. I love them. And then we're going to add in our baking powder and baking soda. So two teaspoons of baking powder and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. And then stir that all together really well until fully combined. Now we're going to add in our wet ingredients. So I have one cup of orange juice. We're going to do three tablespoons of unsweetened applesauce. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Two cups of frozen or fresh fruit. And then I'm going to zest in my orange. Give everything a good mix. Go ahead and pull out your loaf pan, spray it with some nonstick cooking spray, and set your oven to 350 degrees. Can you hear Palmer squeaking his toy? <laughs> Palmer got a new toy at the worst time, right before I started my meal prep, so you may hear some squeaking in the background, until he shreds it, of course. Our berries definitely made our batter an interesting purple color. So we're going to add our batter nice and even to our greased loaf pan. And it's going into a 350 degree oven for about 50 to 55 minutes or until it's cooked through. So insert a toothpick, make sure that it comes out clean. I just pulled our bread out of the oven. It smells so good in here. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to allow it to cool. We'll slice it up so I can show you what a serving size look like, looks like. And I'll give you all the points, calories, and macros. For my 
lunch this week, I'm making a loaded bacon burger bowl. I'm so excited for this. It is everything bacon burger without all the carbohydrates. So this is going to help us get in our greens. We're going to get in some vegetables, lots and lots of protein. So let me show you what's in our recipe. First, you're going to need lettuce of your choice. So I'm actually going to do a mix of spring mix and arugula. I like the kind of peppery vibe of arugula. So I'm going to mix those two together for the salad base. You're going to need some salt, dill pickles, any dressing of your choice. I'm going to use the light ranch. The recipe actually has a homemade dressing option. I'll make sure that I put that as part of the original recipe on my website if you're interested. But for me, light ranch will do just fine. I also have some sliced up mushrooms, cherry tomatoes, a pound of 96% extra lean ground beef, garlic powder. I have a pound or a pack, not even a pound, I guess, of sugar-free distel turkey bacon. That's going to be in place of regular bacon a onion, avocado, and a red onion. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my bacon in the oven. I forgot that this bacon crumbles after you freeze it, which is completely fine. We're going to crumble it up anyways for our burger bowls, but be mindful of that if you do buy the Distel brand, which I buy off of Imperfect Foods, and you freeze it, it has a hard time keeping it shaped. There's no added sugar, really clean ingredients. I'm guessing that's why, and super low fat, very lean bacon. So no problem, I'm going to throw this in to a 400 degree oven and get it crisping up. Now I'm going to do some chopping. I need to chop up my sweet onion and my red onion, and I'm going to use my new knife. I know, she looks stout and scary, but this knife is incredible. I've been using this now for about a month or so. It's from the brand Eno King, Eno King, and you can pick it up right off of Amazon. That's actually where I bought it. And because she is, she's stout, it also comes with a case to store it in. So I've been just washing it and putting it back in the storage case and putting it into my drawer. It works so well to chop. I especially, especially love it for chicken. It just glides right through chicken. Tomatoes is another thing that can sometimes be hard to cut if your knife is dull at all, or if you just don't have the best quality knife. And this literally just glides right through. I mean, you saw how easy it cut that onion. I really, really, really love it. So I'm going to use it to dice up these onions for my burger bowl. And of course, I will link it down below for you. we're going to add our pound of 96% extra lean ground beef. Allow that to start browning up just a little bit before we add in our mushrooms and our onions. Once your ground beef starts to cook down, we're going to go ahead and add in our diced up white onion. Set your red onion aside. We actually top our burger bowl with that. I'm also going to add in my mushrooms and again the Anoking knife slices through mushrooms like a dream as well. It's another one of those vegetables that can be a little bit hard to slice through and that knife is just a big kitchen game changer. I'm going to add some salt and some garlic powder and we'll let this finish cooking completely. So what I'm going to do is put together one of the bacon burger bowls because I'll have it for lunch today. So I can actually show you what a bowl looks like put together. And then generally what I do with all my meal prep ingredients like my burger mushroom mixture, onions, tomatoes, avocado, lettuce is bacon. I will go ahead and package it up and then I'll have all the pieces together, kind of like a buffet style meal prep ready to go for when I want to assemble my bowl for lunch. It makes it so easy because the ingredients are prepped. I just throw them all in a bowl and lunch is served. So we're gonna put one together. Like I said, I am going to go ahead and have it for lunch today. So it's about 11 o'clock, so it's almost lunchtime. I'm going to add a handful of spring mix. And then, like I said, I like arugula for that kind of peppery vibe, so I'm going to put a little bit of arugula in there as well. And then I just kind of mix it up. That way my greens are mixed together. And then I have my meat mixture here. The 
recipe makes six servings. So my recommendation would be to weigh out the entire batch of the meat mixture, divide the number of grams the whole batch is by six, since it's six servings, and that's the amount that you're going to add to each burger bowl. That's the easiest way to measure out a big batch of cooked food in general. So I'm going to add one sixth of my burger mixture on top of my lettuce. And then I'm going to top it with some of those sliced up red onions, cherry tomatoes. We're literally making a bacon burger here. Pickle. I'm going to use my amazing knife to cut my avocado. That's another thing I should have mentioned as it just glides through avocados too, which is another thing that can be really, really hard to cut. These are the teeny tiny avocados, so I'm going to add half of that. Now, of course, all of these toppings are optional. You could even add some cheese to this if you wanted a bacon cheeseburger bowl. Then I went ahead and crumbled up about a slice and a half. It, you need eight slices of bacon total for six bowls. So yeah, about a slice in a third of the bacon topped the burger bowl with that now I'm going to grab my food scale and we'll measure out our dressing I measure everything in grams for me that's the easiest most accurate so I'm going to do two tablespoons which is a serving which is this is 30 milliliters okay so we're gonna do it in milliliters instead usually it's in grams on the back but this is in milliliters so we're shooting for 30 milliliters and there we have it. There is our bacon burger bowl. Doesn't this look incredible? I mean, bacon burger vibes all the way without all the carbs and all the unhealthy fat. Plus we're getting in a good amount of vegetables and greens. I'm super excited to make these up for lunch this entire week. So my bread is cooled. I want 10 slices. I'm going to use my no king knife again. I'm telling you, look at how it just glides through everything. It seriously blows my mind. So we're going to cut each half into five slices. Still a little bit warm. I could have let it cool just a little bit longer, but we're gonna make do. So I have my 10 slices. I am going to put these in a storage container for the week, but let me show you. Look at how amazing this bread looks. Yeah, she's still a little steamy. She's still a little bit warm, but this looks absolutely amazing. And we really amped up the protein using the protein flour. So my plan is, is to have a slice of this with some eggs, bacon, yogurt, cottage cheese, some other type of protein source every day for a really well-balanced, healthy breakfast. But like I said, this looks amazing, and I will go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, I am making protein brownies. I'm actually really, really excited for these. I'm upping the my protein game with my Kodiak flour to even add more into these brownies chocolate chips. It's going to be amazing. So let me show you what's in the recipe. You're going to need unsweetened applesauce. This is in place of butter and oil in the recipe. Salt, a chocolate protein of your choice. The only one I have on hand right now, I actually just ordered the Ascent. It's not here yet though from Amazon, are these Vade protein packs. These are the really awesome little disposable packs. You just throw them into water, it dissolves, it's covered in pretty similar to what's on a vitamin, so totally food safe, soluble. You throw it into water, shake it up, and you have a really yummy protein shake. Since it's the only chocolate protein I have on hand, I'm going to use that. I know it's going to add some really good chocolate flavor. I will link Vade down below with a discount for you guys. I love them if you are on the go a lot, if you work outside the home, if you're in the car a lot, it's the easiest way to get in your protein and it tastes so good. I have the chocolate milkshake, which is my favorite. And I'm replacing the regular flour with my protein flour. I have my Lakanto granulated, Lily's chocolate chips, vanilla extract, eggs, cocoa powder, and baking powder. So for our brownies, super simple. Everything's going into one medium bowl. So we're going to start with our one cup of flour, one third cup of unsweetened applesauce, two thirds cup Lakanto granulated. I'm just going to pop open my pack of protein powder. I figure this is pretty third to pretty close to a third of a cup, which is what the recipe calls for. 200 chocolate chips. I always have a mix of Lily's, Lakanto, all the sugar-free chocolate chips. We're going to add two eggs, two tablespoons of cocoa powder. This is unsweetened cocoa powder. Pinch of salt. 
teaspoon of vanilla extract, and one teaspoon of baking powder. Mix everything together really well, and then we're going to grab out an eight by eight, six by six, whatever you have on hand, brownie pan, and spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. I did have to add a little bit of water to my mixture. It was just way too thick. So feel free to add water, milk, whatever you want to use to get that right brownie batter consistency. I'm going to add it to my sprayed baking dish and then I'm just going to spread it out nice and even in the bottom. And here are the brownies. They're going into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes or so. We want to make sure they're cooked completely through. Protein brownies are out of the oven. These these fluffed up really nicely. They smell super, super chocolatey. I'm really excited for these. I was thinking you could put peanut butter on these, whipped cream. You could warm these up and have a nice hot brownie full of protein. I'm really excited for these this week. I'll go ahead and put points, macros, calories here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's WW Meal Prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these really healthy recipes. They are protein packed, they are delicious. I have eaten that burger bowl and it was one of the best things I've ever had. It definitely could use some cheese. So if you have the points or the calories, you can definitely add a little bit of cheese, make a bacon cheese burger bowl, but it was absolutely Delicious. I mean, delicious. Highly recommend. Of course, all the recipes are on my website, which is down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget to come and join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching. Happy Monday. Here's to an amazing week, and I'll see you in the next one.